The MAI is a martial arts instructor that is a 0916, and uh, his responsibility is basically utilizing the MAGMAI program to teach other Marines the different belts that they're able to achieve through the program. The MAI course is essentially 15 training days where the students are going to be placed under different situations that are going to test, like I said, their physical, their mental, and their character disciplines. They're going to be put on spots where they're going to be teaching their group and leading them through a physical events. As an MAI, you're going to be a leader and you're going to have those Marines, that new PFC, that new Lance Corporal, that they don't necessarily have that role model. And then whenever you come in and you're essentially instilling those disciplines within the MAC program, now they're looking at you and aspiring to become just like that, that leader, that MAI. Because at the end of the day, your Marines' accomplishments are your accomplishments. Right? You are nothing without your Marines. A lot of the times we oversee that corporal, that sergeant, and there's a lot of untapped potential that lies within those Marines. And courses like this give them the ability to essentially tap into that inner leader and uh, come out of their shelves so that they're essentially a force multiplier for like the different commanders across the Marine Corps. You don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want it. For those that are looking to become a martial arts instructor, I would tell them to go ahead and do it. Yes, it's, it's hard. Yes, it's a scary. Yes, you're going to put in different situations where you want to quit. You're going to get rewarded at the end because it's going to signify a lot to you and to your Marines. Because ultimately it's not for you, it's because of your Marines. You're training your Marines to become better. And that's the meaning of the instructor time. Your back should be low. We're currently in the process of attempting to transform our wing headquarters into a, a new construct that will include uh, what we call an A staff or an air staff. What that is, is trying to bring up some of the disaggregated uh, command and control functions that are already within our wing and bringing them up into one place where they can work together to help prepare the wing commander as well as uh, all of our units for crisis before crisis happens and combat before we go to combat. Over the last 20 years as we've been in operations in the Middle East, our adversaries, our pacing threats, have gone to school on our ability to execute combat operations as an Air Force. We are reorganizing as a wing to be able to better present forces against that adversary moving out in the future. It's the wing's organic ability to present combat power and aggregate forces for lethality against our peer competitors.
All our efforts to this point have been recognized by the senior leaders in the Air National Guard. We were selected by the Director of the Air National Guard, General Lowe, to be the lead wing for Air Defender 23. We're going to go forward to Germany. There's a German Air Force exercise, that's Air Defender. Well, they'll be executing inside the country of Germany multiple missions uh, every day for two weeks with a multinational task force. We'll be there to collect data and make sure that all of their owning states know where they are, uh, that they're okay, and what their missions are, and if we're being successful or not successful. Every day, we'll also be sending forward airmen to multiple other countries around Germany to practice agile combat employment and putting the right people at the right base at the right time so that we can execute ACE successfully. That is our time to give our adversaries a moment of pause. We will go there and provide that deterrence to make them think that today's not a good day to go against the United States Air Force. This is a new organization that reports to the wing commander to help wing commanders make rapid decisions. It feels like we're changing a lot, and, and it's true that we will. Um, it's going to be resource neutral. We're not gaining airmen. We're not losing airmen. Uh, we're simply putting those humans together in a way that they can work together as a team efficiently and successfully. The chief of staff of the Air Force said, accelerate, change, or lose. This is one of the things that we are doing as 127th wing to accelerate change so we don't lose. I'm absolutely confident that the airmen of the 127th wing have the innovation and the initiative to make this a success. Airmen equals the magic that we have to go against our adversaries. And after, I'm gonna ask one of the guys to be a decoy. Okay. So I can show you a running bike. Oh, do you wanna do that? To be better? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't mind. <laughs>
Yeah, they could turn towards the aircraft, they say follow the aircraft. Thank you. 